Good morning. It's Halloween. Um, and it's a spooky morning. And it's also a beautiful day to investigate. So what we're doing today is we're going to investigate the energies in the air because the veil is thin and there's a lot coming up. One sec. So, yeah, I just have some Palo Santos here because I love the smell. And um, to just protect us, cleanse the energy, fill the energy with divine love, divine spirit. And um, allow us to begin our journey. So, I'll just burn it a little longer. Just for personal reasons because I love the smell. And I want it to be strong. Right now it smells burnt. But that's just because it's Palo Santos and it had to burn. Look at her. Okay. So, happy Halloween, everybody. Hope you're all out there staying safe. We got a little feather. Be our angels to protect us. Spirit guides. Um... I didn't really, let me just check with spirit to make sure I can even do this reading. Um, I'm using the Arisha Tarot and the Everyday Witch deck. Um, okay, spirit. And should I do this reading? What's that? The Nine of Swords. Okay, but should I do this reading? I think everybody's house is being confronted with a lot of revelations, a lot of truth, truths. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do the reading. So I think everybody's house is being confronted. It's interesting because part of me wants to say, look at your ninth house and see what's happening there, or just look at where your house is, where you feel a lot of, um, anxiety right now where you feel a lot of revelatory energy specifically if you feel energy because i'll i just go based off of what i'm feeling because i'm a part of the collective too so specifically if you're feeling energy around um like fears of what is going to happen to you in terms of what needs to happen in order for you to reach a breakthrough you know how sometimes we're like uh, on this journey and in order for you to reach that pinnacle that you want to uh, reach, um, it's like almost like feeling like something bad has to happen to you in order to get there, to get there. So there's this energy of like looking at where you have this eerie feeling that something is going to happen to you, because it's not true, but it reveals to you something about uh, your sense of safety and your sense of stability and your sense of home. This is a lot to do with the mother energy. This is a lot to do with the house energy. So I'd even say fourth house, looking at your fourth house, if you're feeling any type of anxiety around that right now. But that was just the first thing. Knowing that this is, some, this is a collective energy. So there's a lot of swords. There's a lot of truths, but it can be overwhelming because it's many things being revealed at once, which can mean that the language begins to get muffled and confused and we can't always make sense of all the truths because too many things are being spoken at once. This is something that is affecting everybody's house. This is something that is over everyone right now. Um, another thing to keep in mind is that I've learned just through watching my readings again and again that I am a prophet. So I'm speaking about things that are probably happening in the future. Um, and I'm not sure how often things that I'm talking about are things that are happening right now. I'm just not sure. So um, that is something to keep in mind because this might be energy that finds you in the future. And it could be just being opened up through this gateway. Two of Wands. I think that right now everything is coming to a head 
because both sides are trying to see the future. Both sides are trying to understand what is happening next. Both sides are trying to um, predict and conjure up a reality, a future that um, puts them in a successful outcome. I think that this is like, yeah, this is higher level. So seven of cups. It's almost like there is a grave that has been dug and both sides are trying to see whose grave it is. Like neither are sure. It's like trying to predict whose death it is coming um, without knowing like how somebody's gonna die, why, who's gonna do it. But this energy of like, whose death is this? Cause I think we can all feel a death energy in the air. Like 333 and 555 are numbers to keep in mind. Right now, um, not necessarily like numbers that you need to see, but just they're just numbers to keep in mind. Um, but the point being, I think we can all feel a death energy in the air. It's very prominent. It's not just because it's Halloween, but Halloween makes it even spookier. But we all feel this death energy in the air. We also have a war happening right now. Um, several. But... Um, something that's really big in the media right now so a lot of people are talking about it but we all feel this eerie energy in the air and I don't think anyone is quite sure of who it belongs to and in the higher sense when it comes to the spiritual wars the spiritual battles that are happening um, when it comes to what your soul is fighting for if we're gonna turn things into a binary just to make things easier, just to make things like black and white. There's one side and there's the other side. You could say there's the system and there's the people, right? Both are looking into this energy, looking at this energy, looking at this portal and trying to see what the outcome is. Both are looking into this portal and trying to see whose death is this because we can all feel it. We can all sense death. We can all see death is here. And we're like, who does this belong to? Basically, who is winning? Who is going to come out alive? Who is going to be the, 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 the hero, the winner? Whose grave is this? We can all see an empty grave. We're wondering who's going to be thrown into this grave. It's kind of um, eerie, but it doesn't feel bad. I know that that's maybe hard to understand, but it doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm eating my breakfast. Oh, we have the two of wands and the seven of cups. Sorry, I didn't show you that. King of Wands, he's coming out again and again. Hmm. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Hmm, that was just the King of Swords or something. Yeah, it was the King of Swords. It's interesting because I wonder who's calling the shots, right? Because we have like three different energies here. We have the people, we have the warriors, we have the soldiers, the people who are fighting the battle. Then we have like the general, but not even. We have this outside energy that is conducting this battle. And then we have the bystanders, like the watchers, and I want to know who this outside energy is that is conducting the battle between warriors because this is the king of wands. Like it's this question of who is making us fight? 
Who is it that's making us fight? King of Swords. We just saw the King of Swords before, remember? This is masculine energy. Um, King of Swords. This is masculine. We have fire and air here and um, both kings. Huh, who's fighting? Hold on, okay. Let's keep going. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back to that. I don't know. Who the hell are, is this? Because it's a king of wands. It's a king of swords masked as a king of wands. Or maybe that's just two aspects. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, we have the six of swords that just came out. And the two of swords. Okay. That's interesting. Because underlying all of this is water. Underlying all of this is water. But um, we have no earth so far. And, oh, well, we have Earth at the back of the deck, and funny enough, it's Five of Pentacles. So this feeling of not being enough. So it's interesting because this is not a gender war. This is, um, this is energy coming to a head. Do you see the fire? Like, the flame is going crazy. Anyways, um, this is energy coming to a head. Um, you don't need to think about this in terms of gender because that doesn't matter. Um... And it almost makes me not want to say like masculine and feminine because it just feels like it cheapens it because it's, um, it's a more complex conversation. But we see underneath it all, there's water. In the two of wands, there's water there. The seven of cups is here, that's water. We don't see water, but emotionally we feel water. And what is it that we're all experiencing this sensation of death through? Feeling. But then we have the King of Wands, Two of Wands, the King of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Two of Swords. All air and fire. And just that little Seven of Cups. But the water is confused. The emotions are confused. And there's no grounding here. Because even with the Five of Pentacles at the back of the deck, that is insecure energy. That is unsteady energy. So the earth and the water which is our life life source energy is not present like we can't really see it what we can see is fire and air And both of those feel, it feels like cold and isolated energy. Like being in a crowded room, but being alone. Oh, look at all this. Seven of Wands, back deck. King of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Emperor, the Fool. We didn't even talk about the Two of Swords or the Six of Swords. I just think we're moving on. Um, oh shit. You know where Earth and Water is? In the background. <laughs> Earth and Water is in the background. Being peaceful, um, working on yourself. Um, trying to help community, um, connecting to animals, feeding people, taking care of people. Earth and water energy right now, oh, this fire is big, is busy taking care of people. But uh-oh, I'm sorry, but the fool here, this feels like Allegba, Allegua, Allegba. Um, like 
sounding the drum and calling in earth and earth and water and this emperor feels like a knighting calling you into power calling you into into battle <sighs> oh okay i had um fuck i was um a couple nights ago it wasn't a dream it was a a voice that i heard say something about women are being um being forced to become warriors and fight for something something like that i think that there's about to be a rise in like women fighters or like women warriors like something is about to happen it might not just be women but there is i feel like there is this rise in like feminine the feminine as a warrior the feminine as a battle as a battle hero like um when we think about goddesses this, these are the the destructive goddesses i've been feeling kali i've been feeling i mean segment has literally um shown up i was speaking about hera and then and then we have the three sisters i mentioned her look at that what's that about why is it so big? Because this candle's down there. I'm like, do I need to blow you out? Anyways. I think that earth and water are about to be called to battle. And this emperor energy is almost like, um, it's not like you ask to be knighted. It's not like you ask to be called, but you're being called. It's like um, discovering you're a king. But what is the king to an emperor? What's the mouse to the king? What's a king to a god? What's a god to a non-believer who don't believe in anything? Make it out alive, all right, all right. No church in the wild. But I think that there's actually, I don't know. Hold on. Let's keep going. Hold on. Hmm, this deck feels light. There's not nine of ones again, ten of cups. got a little bit of a whoop. I'm sorry you guys no like I'm not sorry because it's nothing scary but it is like um there is an awakening happening there's an awakening happening amongst the feminine and it could be the feminine within all of us um and understand that the feminine is a complex energy and it's not about gender okay but there's an awakening of the goddess look at that there's an awakening of the goddess. She's coming. She's coming. Okay? And it's not a joke. It's going to reach everybody. It is coming to all of our houses. The goddess. There's that energy coming. It is going to meet you wherever you are. And I think a lot of women are going to be called upon. And I think a lot of mothers are going to be called upon. And it doesn't matter what you what you were busy doing, what you were busy taking care of, you are being called. You are being called into action. You are being called into your your purpose. Queen of Wands, Page of Wands, and that Knight of Wands again. Still no Earth. Well, we have the King of Pentacles. We have almost all the Kings. We just don't have the King of Cups. And we have the emperor. So we have so much masculine energy here. But funny enough, what are we talking about? We're talking about the goddess. We're talking about the feminine. It's what's underlying. On the surface, all you see is the masculine. But the goddess is coming. The goddess is rising. The straw that broke the camel's back. What is that going to be? 
That's why all this masculine energy is looking to water. It's looking to the feminine to tell it what the outcome is going to be. She'll tell you, all right. She done dug the grave. She knows. Uh-oh. Ignore the pronouns I'm using. It's not about gender. It's bigger than that. This is not a gender war. It's nothing like that. All of that is bullshit. swords reversed there's that king of cups peeking out uh oh page of wands again i guess i should keep you out <laughs> here's another thing because here i am i'd be ignoring things i was ignoring the page of wands i was ignoring the knight of wands i would see it they were keep they keep coming up kept coming up but i was ignoring them it's that energy that you ignore it's that presence within yourself within your home within your groups of friends within your conversations within your environment that you ignore what you consider the underdog what you consider not as powerful oh this isn't the king you know what's a god to a non-believer sweetie a god what do you mean it doesn't require your faith for this thing to exist it exists because it is everything and that's the goddess uh oh, a lot of y'all, a lot of us. I'm just talking about y'all. This I'm part of the collective. <sighs> Jeez, please. Okay, let's talk about this page of want. Yeah, well, okay, maybe we just did. Yeah, I'm sorry, cause I think that I think that some people, I think some energy thought that the goddess was dead or thought that the feminine energy was dead like the feminine warrior energy was dead it ain't it ain't sweetie and the moment you go over there she about to get your ass i'm sorry i feel like something is happening like i feel like a reckoning is about to happen i'm not gonna lie and it feels like it's from the feminine like delivered by the feminine delivered by earth and water Earth and water. It's not fire and air, it's earth and water. Hmm. What time is it? Let's talk the world, okay. I think this reading is complete, but let's just look at what. Yeah. There's help coming. There's help coming. And it comes from the spirit of light. I want to say it comes from the spirit of the sun. There's help coming and it's coming through the spirit of the sun. If you watch Queen Cup's reading, she was talking a lot about solar flares, her most recent reading. I think that there's a connection between that. And this whole week, sorry, this whole week I've been like, in my head, I've been like, why do we consider the sun masculine? And that's not to say that the sun isn't masculine. I don't know. But this whole week in my head, I've been like, why do we consider the sun masculine? I've kept wondering that. Because who are we without the sun? You know? Can't live without the sun. And Professor Melanie and Sister Myra, Sea Star Myra, um, I think that they say that the sun is actually the feminine. Or was that, or was that Queen Cup? I don't know. Point is, I'm only talking about women. There's something going on with the feminine energy. Anyways, okay. I think that we're done with this tarot deck. 
we'll see if Everyday Witch has anything to say. Um, and then we'll, we'll be done investigating for now because then I have to go to work. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Look at your life and see if you're feeling anything around your feminine energy, around the goddess, around your fourth house, around anything. Could be your ninth house. I don't know. I'm just gonna eat another bite on my cereal. Mind your business. Hmm. The sun's up. Queen of Pentacles. Earth's here. Uh oh. And I forgot to mention, the Empress came out in the very beginning. But we overlooked her. I'm telling y'all, something's going on. Uh-oh, the tower. Uh-oh, six of wands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the feminine is about to fuck shit up. I feel like the feminine is about to come in here and tear down the systems. I feel like the patriarchy is falling apart. <laughs> We have the two of swords. Hold on. That came out in the other one. Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Look at that. Yeah. And and there's this energy of like, it's not a gender war. It's not a gender war. <laughs> like, those who are meant to those who understand this energy are going to be here for this energy no matter how you identify and those who don't or those who are threatened or scared of it won't but either way the goddess is coming and she is awakening you she's bringing you your gifts the empress she is bringing you something every single one of us she's showing you something she is telling you something you could have a lot of creative energy right now. But the goddess is here and she's tearing the walls down. She is here. The mother is here. The goddess is here. The goddesses are here. Oh no, man. This is exciting. This is crazy. This is profound and deeply moving, deeply healing. There's a lot of deep healing that's going to come through. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and she's abundant, and she's abundant. Mm, judgment reversed. Hanged man at the back of the deck. You're getting your calling. I think you're receiving your calling. I think you are receiving your calling and I think it's gonna show up as kind of like this little whisper. And she's gonna meet you where you are. I think the goddess is coming directly to you. I think the goddess is, that's why I said it's. she's coming to your house. Like she's coming directly to us. The goddess is going to knock on your door. She's going to meet you where you are. Didn't I say that? It's going to be like a whisper in your ear, but it's not going to be a whisper. It's going to be loud. You're not going to be able to close your eyes and be and meditate. It's going to be loud. It's going to be in your face, and she's going to meet you directly where you are. It's coming straight to you. This is not something that's going to come through somebody else. Blah, blah, blah. She's coming to you. The goddess is here. She's coming directly to you. She will find you on your path, wherever you are. You turn around, you're going to see her. I think that's it. These are the energies that are in the air for Halloween. It's kind of crazy. Super rando. I mean, it's not random at all. But it's just kind of crazy because it's so intense. And I felt that. I was feeling kind of sad yesterday and today at certain points um, in the morning. 
but I think it's just, it's a strong energy. And the death energy is strong too. And death is not an easy energy. So, you know, whenever you feel that, you really feel it. But I think that something really f fantastic is about to happen. High Priestess, yes. Oh, trust your intuition, trust what you feel. Feel what you feel. High Priestess, Magician, Two of Cups, the Hermit. Are you kidding me? Like, give us a break. Uh, Three of Swords. Queen of Wands, back a deck. Yeah, you guys. I think this is actually really fantastic. Nine of Pentacles. This is really fantastic energy. Fantastic energy. This is exactly what we need. And that strength is here. Look at this. All in one little go. High Priestess. The Magician. Two of Cups. The Hermit. Strength. Three of Swords. Whatever you feel, feel it. Whatever you sense, accept it and experience it and follow your gut. You know what you feel and what you feel is powerful. Water is powerful. Emotions are powerful. And sometimes they reveal the truth. Trust what you feel. Trust what you feel. Trust who you connect with. Trust what you be you're being called to do. Trust your promptings. Follow your instincts. Listen. Listen to your spirit. Listen to spirit. Trust. 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 There is something waking up. The goddess is rising. Okay. Bye. Have a good day. Have a happy Halloween. And a happy day of the dead.